to Issues. I'm Dan Celia. Um, we're going to uh, take a, a quick break here and go to Ann Reed. Ann is down in Washington, D.C. at the March for Life. Uh, this is a uh, time when they are uh, people from all over the country have come together in memory of the horrible day 40 years ago when Roe versus Wade um, was upheld and um, it is a sad day and it's more it, and it's and, and we live in a sad day today that we don't have mainstream media uh, covering this like they should be covering it as you can expect but I know there are a lot of people there and uh, I wanted to ask Ann to call in and check in with us hey Ann how are you Hi, Dan. I'm doing well. I don't. My voice is suffering a little bit, but but I'm here and loving every minute of being here. Tell me about um, first off the crowd, Ann. Is there is there a lot of people there? Yes, it's tremendous. And um, you know, I as we were talking the other day, and and I had understood from other people that the number of youth that were attending uh, was just tremendous. And I'm seeing that with with my own eyes, just busloads and busloads of young people here um Mm. the youth rally was held yesterday and the space in which that was held was just overflowing students were uh, standing around the edges of the space and sitting on the floor and it was just a tremendous um turnout of the youth Mm. and was there a that's great because you know that's so encouraging to me and i know it is to you as we you know see the youth uh coming it gives us hope that this is not going to be forgotten and there's Absolutely. going to continue to be a movement to um, bring a, bring more awareness. Right. Yeah. So um, today, the the actual March for Life takes place today. Uh, we'll have a rally. What I, I, right now, I am at um, the National Memorial Service that is part of the March for Life event every year, and um, the rally will take place at 12 noon today, and then the march will begin at 1, and... Um, then uh, after the march at the Supreme Court, um, many men and women will be sharing their personal testimonies of how they mm. have been very personally affected by abortion in their own lives. And that will go on for hours <laughs> of those mm. testimonials. And where is the march? Where is it going from and to? It starts at the National Mall and it ends at the Supreme Court where that Roe v. Wade decision was actually made. OK, great. Um is there media? Are you seeing media coverage? You know, I, I am seeing, like right now, I'm trying to find a quiet spot at the, uh, we're at the DAR Constitution Hall right now, and, you know, wh- wherever we are, we see, um, you know, interviews taking place with uh, cameras and that type of thing, but I, I don't know, you know, who that is. I don't know right, if that's right. uh, mainstream media. I would doubt that it is, yeah. um, but we are seeing that. I just don't know exactly what, what kind of... Um, outlets those are is the uh, there was a prayer service this morning right uh that's was actually that part m- of what we're at right now is the memorial oh, and prayer service okay and that's going on right now yes and yesterday morning we actually started out the day at the plan, plan planned parenthood facility that is nearby uh and just for that event you know many of the busloads of youth and different individuals had not actually gotten here yet but just at that event there were over 400 mm, wow Holy mackerel. Out, Have in, you out seen... in the freezing cold and snow. <laughs> yes, I was going to welcome you up here to the northeast with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just we were walking last night, and I said, you know, I love the South. Yeah, I guess you do, yeah. Yeah, but um, you know what? It's it... a testimony that so many are here regardless. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. cold, it's snowing, and um, just the, the numbers that are here, they are expecting this to be a record number. Oh, uh, last great. year, I think the... the the numbers at the actual march were over 400,000, and, and they're expecting and hoping for over a half million this year. Mm. Are there some legislators planning on uh, speaking today? Or? Uh, yes, actually, one of those is, uh, let me find that on my paperwork here, but Rick Santorum will be one of the speakers. Okay. Um, let's I, see I, here. I think I heard. Uh, did Rep- Representative Diane Black. Uh-huh. Um let me see. Well, I'm trying to skip through these and find the legislators. Uh, Representative okay. Dan Lipinski. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Senator Rand Paul is actually going to be one of the speakers. Okay. I think Rand uh, Paul is going to be Chris on. Smith. 
I think Rand Paul's going to be on with Brian Fisher today. Uh, yes, he for those sure is. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Um, well, that's good uh, that that some of them uh, that that truly believe and have the character to uh, stand firmly upon what they believe to come out uh, and speak to all the people there. And uh, I'm going to be very uh, interested to see and to hear if there is coverage from mainstream media at all. I mean, I even Fox News didn't give it uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, coverage, as I hope they would. I mean, at least they mentioned it. But um, right. You know, I hope well, I, hopefully I, this will that we'll see yeah. some coverage. Go ahead. I, well, I just I'm just in agreement with you. I hope that we'll see something change today with mm. the march actually taking place that they'll do some coverage. Mm, I hope so. And we are so grateful uh, to you for being there to uh, represent uh, uh, AFA and and to be down there um, because I know you're passionate about uh, this as we all are and as we all should be. And you know. Uh, I'm, I, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I am, and I'm actually looking forward to being one of those uh, many who will be sharing their testimonies today and just taking a part. It just takes all of us doing whatever part, you know, God mm-hmm. has given us and enabled us to to uh, to uh, kind of plug in there and do what we can. Yeah, you know, it's so important, and I, I thank you for that. I wasn't sure whether you were going to share or not, but I'm grateful that you are, and um, it, it is such a blessing uh, so so many of us who have uh, uh, difficult testimonies, uh, yours, uh, you know, being one of those difficult uh, testimonies that's very appropriate for today is such a blessing. You know, we, we look at that as as we hear them and think about them as, uh, you know, we think about the pain. But what a blessing that um, God has given you that so that you might be able to minister to others through it. And uh, that's the that's the real power of testimony is that Mm -hmm. when you speak, you're ministering to so many people and it is such a blessing. And I'm I'm grateful that you're able um, that that someone from the financial issues team uh, is Mm -hmm. is able to participate in that way and be such a uh, blessing to so many people. I know you're minister to many that are there and I I thank you for that. And I'm grateful for it. And uh I want to hear more about it too, Ann, uh, ne- next week or, or even when the, when the dust settles a little bit and they stop talking about it, we can, we can bring it back up again and hear more about it and how important it is. <clears throat> well, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. And, and, you know, that's one of the things with us, um, w- what you were just kind of expressing with us being able to, to go and share our testimonies and it making a difference. It reminds me of what Paul says that we, we can't boast, you know, the only thing mm-hmm. that we're boasting in is, is what Christ has done in, mm-hmm. in our lives through, through our own, you know, terrible decisions that we've made and, and what Christ has done. So mm-hmm. we're more than glad and um, blessed to be able to do that. Mm, amen to that. Well, Anne, thank you for being uh, soldiers with us, and we're so grateful to you. And thank you for the report. We appreciate it, and I know our listeners appreciate it, and we'll be uh, anxious to talk to you uh, next week. And hopefully you're going to be on with uh, some others here today, uh, continuing to give updates.